we understand the relationship between the product of three numbers their scf and their lcm so product of three numbers and this relationship if we write we can write it like this so product of three numbers is equal to the lcm of three numbers divided by their scf so this is the simple part this is the trivial part but in addition to this we also have to multiply it with the pairwise scfs of the three numbers so this is the relationship and this relationship you should remember uh, because like we said again and again questions are being asked on this so it becomes important okay so now that we know this relationship we can go through the question and we can now understand what all things we have been given so we have been given this already the numbers have been given we have been told that this is equal to l this is equal to m and this is equal to n so this this also we have been given we have been asked to find the lcm of the three numbers that is lcm abc and this actually is actually missing we don't really know this okay scf of abc so before we go on to understand what the scf of the three numbers a b and c would be let us take a very very simple uh, example uh, and understand what what is being given here okay so let us say that we take an example we take three numbers 2 6 and 10 notice that the scf of these three numbers if i take all the three numbers together their scf would come out to be equal to 2 now let us now also take their pairwise scf so we can also do that so if we take the pairwise scfs this is 2 the pairwise scf of these two is also equal to 2 and the pairwise scf of these two is also equal to 2 so what does it it tell me it tells me that if there is a common factor if there is a common factor across these three numbers across these three numbers if there is a common factor it means that the scf would actually be equal to that factor that's the first thing second is if i take the scf of the scf then that factor would appear so for example in this case the common factor across all of these three numbers is 2 we know that we have taken it deliberately and if i take the scfs of these scfs so these two are the scf for example this could be our l and this could be our uh, m and if i take the scf of these two scf of l comma m then this common factor 2 actually is the scf of l and m also so scf of scf cannot be one if there was a common factor across all of these three numbers but here we have been told that the scfs of the scfs so this l m and n are the scfs of the three numbers and if i take their scfs it turns out to be one they it comes out to be one which means that there is no common factor between a b and c which actually tells me that this scf of a b c actually has to be equal to one so now our problem is made simple we can simply write lcm of a b c is equal to a b c divided by so this will go on the opposite side and we will get l m n okay and the trick here is to really understand that if this is true if the if i take the pairwise scf of the scfs and those are equal to 1 it means that there are no common factors there are no common factors between those three numbers a b and c to begin with okay once you realize that this problem becomes very very uh, simple and it can be asked in any of your competitive exams okay?